ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਸਾ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਇਨ ਦ ਮੰਥ ਆਫ ਜੂਨ ਵੀ ਆਲ ਰਿਮੈਂਬਰ ਦ ਟੈਰੇਬਲ ਸ਼ਹੀਦ ਦੀ ਆਫ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਅਰਜਨ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਵੀ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਟੇਕ ਥਿਸ ਮੋਮੈਂਟ ਜਸਟ ਟੂ ਲੁਕ ਬੈਕ ਐਂਡ ਲਰਨ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਦ ਜੀਵਨ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਵੰਡਰਫੁਲ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਦੈਟ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਹੈ ਡਨ ਫੋਰ ਆਲ ਦ ਪੀਪਲ ਅਰਾਊਂਡ ਹਿਮ ਟੂਡੇ ਲੈਟਸ ਲਰਨ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਦ ਸਾਖੀ ਆਫ ਪਾਈ ਕਟਾਰੂ ਜੀ ਪਾਈ ਕਟਾਰੂ ਜੀ ਵਾਸ ਅ ਵੈਰੀ ਗੁੱਡ ਮੈਨ he worked in a small town called gajni in pakistan and he worked in a shop where he used to his job was to weigh the ingredients that people used to come and buy and make sure that they get charged the correct amount of price for that particular um, ingredients so one day bai kutaru ji had the urge to go and meet guru arjan dev ji maharaj so he asked for leave from his um, from his uh, boss and went from pakistan to amritsar to meet guru arjan dev ji maharaj upon getting to guru sahib ji shrain and takat guru arjan dev guru arjan dev ji maharaj welcomed him with great love and and brought him close to him bai kutaru ji ji asked for blessings of guru arjan dev ji maharaj and in return guru arjan dev ji maharaj gave him his blessing and asked bai kutaru ji what he done as a living Bai Kutaru ji told Guru Sahib that he worked in a grocery store and his job was to weigh the ingredients and then sell them to people at the correct price. Guru Sahib said that's great you do a wonderful job um, but I want you to remember one thing if you want to be the the good the Sikh of Guru Arjan Dev ji I want you to remember five commands and five things I want you to practice on every day. The first one is do not short change anybody do not ever sell somebody something for a higher price when it should be low and same again don't sell anything lower than its value that as well always be fair and honest in your workings the second thing guru sahib commanded bai kutaru ji to do was to take out 10% of his earnings and give to a noble cause or a charity and put back into the kitchen of guru nanak dev ji the third thing guru sahib instructed by kutaru ji to do was to wake up at amritvela every morning and read japji sahib the part and to always keep his focus on guru nanak dev ji and and the bani and always remember him the fourth thing was whilst working always remember guru sahib and vai guru in simran always continuous meditation always keep vai guru in your thoughts even when you're walking talking working whatever you were doing always try to practice as much simran as possible and the fifth thing the guru sahib instructed by kutaru ji was to never cause anyone any, any hurt or stress always be kind and compassionate to everybody and always give the give the gesture of love wherever you possibly can but don't do not ever hurt anybody or cause anybody stress or any harm so by kutaru ji ji took that as a blessing from guru arjan dev ji and fell to the feet of guru arjan dev ji and put his head on guru sahib's feet and asked for his blessings and for him to return home safely and continue his work in his time so guru ji guru ji gave him his blessings and allowed him to go back to pakistan one day well bai kutaru ji was working in his shop everybody become so fond of him now why had he become so fond of him because he had the blessing of guru arjan dev ji maharaj but also the key qualities the five golden keys that guru sahib had gave to bai kutaru ji he was practicing them every day so every day he was doing simran every day he was working an honest living he was making sure that everybody got charged the correct price every day he would read his japji sahib da part at amrit vela and every day he would try to share love and be as compassionate with as everybody with anybody that he ever met and people become very fond of him that way people would start to talk about him people would become very fond of him he was well known within the village and everybody generally liked bai kutaru ji because of these qualities that he had now there was obviously some people in the village that didn't like bai kutaru ji for the same reasons because he was became very popular and everybody was talking about him and people thought he was very nice so some of his work colleagues decided to do something very devious with bai kutaru ji and the the scales that bai kutaru ji used to use to weigh the ingredients that he used to sell in the shop they maliciously 
change them over. So what they done, they took the weights that he used that were the correct weight and they swapped them for fake ones. Now the fake ones were slightly different in weight and that would give a false reading and it would make by Kodaraji sell less ingredients to people for a higher amount of money. So Bai Kodaraji obviously never knew this and he went on to his work as normal practice as a daily doing his Simran and always keeping the message that Guru Arjan Dev Ji gave to him in his mind and always to try to work and, and, le and earn an honest living. So as he was working one day, those same malice people went to the king, the local king and made a complaint about them and says, King, King, this chap that's working in your shop by Kodaraji, he's doing wrong things, he's selling people, he's using fake weight and he's selling ingredients to people at the wrong price and at a low price and, and he's cheating people. Please, King, you have to do something about it. He's such a bad man and he's he should be punished. You should come and check his work. So the King summoned Bhai Kodaraji to his palace and instructed him and, and informed him about the complaint that he had. And Bhai Kodaraji was very calm, very collective and says, look, there's no issues here. Whatever you would like to do, you please do your investigation. If you think I'm cheating, you please carry on, check my weight, check my scales, check whatever you need to check. You do your job, I won't stop you. He goes, but what I will do, while you're doing your job, I will do my job as well. And what by, what did Bhai Kodaro Ji, Ji do? He folded his hand and closed his eyes and he remembered Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj and he done a small adas to Guru Sahib to say, Guru Sahib, I'm in a very tricky situation at the moment. You gave me five key things to follow and I followed them to my heart's will and content as much as I possibly can. And today I'm faced with a very uncertain fact that I've been accused of cheating somebody. But Guru Sahib, I have full faith in you and please, please, you take care of my affairs and help me in this time of need. Now remember, Bhai Kodaraji was sitting in Pakistan just now in his bend in Gajani and Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj was sitting in Amritsar in Punjab. So there was quite a long distance away. But through Guru Sahib's love and dedication, Bhai Kodaraji was able to focus the, on his jaran of Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj and Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj felt that and felt his ardas. So, Bhai Kutaru Jiji started his Jabji Sephar like Guru, Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj had instructed him and always kept his focus on Guru Sahib's Charan. So while he was doing the uh, Jabji Sephar and doing Ardas being to do Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj, the king continuously was checking the scales and checking the weights. Now back in, back in Amritsar, Guru Arjan Dev Ji was sitting there and he knew that Bhai Kutaru Ji was doing the Ardas to him. So he had an obligation to help Bhai Kodaraji. He said to him, look, I will be with you whenever you need me, just remember me. So Bhai Kodaraji had remembered Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj and Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj came to his aid. Now what happened at that time, a Sikh had come to see Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj. And as we do, we respectfully bow down and matta take to the Charana Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj. And as he matta take, he placed one coin at Guruji's feet. Now Guruji looked at this coin and thinking of Bhai Kodaraji, he picked up this coin and he put it in, from one hand he put it into his into left into the left hand. And then from the left hand, he put it into his right hand. And he kept on doing this for several minutes, from left to right, from right to left, from left to right. And the people in the court of the Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj, they started to wonder, What's going on here? Why is Guruji, you know, so obsessed with this one little coin that has no real value? It's just a coin that some noble person has laid in front of him. But why has he, why is he focused on this coin so much? And why is he continuously moving it from his left hand to his right hand? So one of the Sikhs got up and asked Guru Arjan Dev Jumanas, Guruji, forgive us, but we are very low-minded people. We don't understand what you are doing. Please explain to us what's happening. So Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj, he explained to the court that what had happened in the Gajani Bend in Pakistan with Bhai Kodaruji was happening just there and then. And as the king was looking at the weights and checking the, 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 the scale and putting the weights on, 
Guru Sahib has said that I'm using this coin, I'm sitting in Amritsar in Punjab, and I'm counter weighing the scales that are in Pakistan and Gajani bent, that but by Kataruji, his whole reputation is on the line. So when the fake scales are going, when the fake weights, sorry, are going on the scales, I am using my coin to counterbalance it so they all look right. Because I know deep down Bhai Kutaraji hasn't acted in malice, he hasn't went out intentionally to hurt anybody, he hasn't went out to shortchange or to cheat anybody. Somebody has played a very malice game with him and he's innocent. So Guru Arjun Dev Ji was taking this coin and counterbalancing the weight that was in Pakistan and Gajani Bind. So as the king was doing this in Pakistan, he couldn't figure out that the fake weights that uh, by uh, Kataruji had supposedly used, every time he put them on the scales, they would weigh exactly the right weight that they were supposed to weigh, not the fake weight. And all the people around him, they were astonished because even especially the, the people that had played this really bad trick on by Kataruji, they knew that those weights were fake and they should not be weighing what they were weighing. They couldn't understand it. So as the king kept on weighing the weights and checking them, everything seemed right. The scales were perfect and everything that should be should have been done was being done. And the king stood up and acknowledged that there had been a false uh, report made on behalf of Bhai Kataruji and apologised Bhai Kataruji and asked him to be uh, carefree and just to go back to work and carry on as normal. Now, the obviously the whole the city was in shock that something like this had happened and how the miracle uh, of of the coins the the weights being the exact same weight had occurred but this is all due to the fact that Bhai Kutaraji one was a devout Sikh of Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj and secondly Guru Arjan Dev Ji was so compassionate and so helpful in the time of need of Bhai Kutaraji and he knew that he was an honest man. He knew he earned an honest living. He knew he waked up every day and done Jabji Sahib the part and remembered Guru Sahib every morning at Amrit Villa. He knew that he never ever caused any hurt or pain to any uh, people in his store and always was kind and compassionate. And all the qualities that Guru Arjan Dev Ji had passed on to Bhai Kutaraji, Bhai Kutaraji followed them to the T. And this was the reason that Bhai Kudaraji had no worries or no chinta to say I'm going to get caught here or I'm going to get into trouble or I may lose my job. So this is looking back at the amazing qualities of Guru Arjan Dev Ji and how his message is so relevant today, even in today's day and age of what a, a Gursikh or a Sikh of Guru Arjan Dev Ji, a Sikh of Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj, a Sikh of Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj should be practicing the simple things in life. To always be kind and compassionate, to always live an honest living, to always do the right thing, to always focus your mind on Akal Purak. Remember him in Simran, remember him in Seva, remember him in Kirtan. So during this time, let's look back at the Sakhi, let's take away something from it that we can all apply into our lives and pass through to our children as well where we can teach them how amazing our Gurus were and how amazing Guru Arjan Dev Ji is even to now for his message to still be practiced in this day and age. So please, I hope you like this Saki and if you have, please feel free to like and share and subscribe to the channel and share this Saki with all your friends and families, especially to the younger generation. I've deliberately made this Saki in English so all generations can learn and understand it. It's a very simple Saki. You can you can search it on the internet as well. There's lots more Sakis and stories about Guru Arjun Dev Ji and all the Gurus. There's lots of channels out there. So please like and uh, subscribe and support all the Sikhi channels out there. Uh, 